aspiring real estate professionals, I'm assuming you came upon this video because you are thinking about getting your real estate license in Texas. So welcome. I'm Christy, and today I'll walk you through the general steps to kickstart your exciting career in real estate. I went through this process not so long ago and got my license. Yay! And <laughs> when I was going through the process, I was looking for some uh, resources that could walk me through the process from start to finish. So I decided to make a video series of myself of the different tips and tricks that I wish I had heard before going through the process. So let's get started. So since COVID, uh, Texas has been known for its vast landscapes and booming real estate market um, as it offered um, incredible opportunities for those looking to enter this world of real estate. Whether you are watching this because you're very passionate about helping um, your friends and family find their dream home or looking to invest in the dynamic real estate market, I truly believe that getting your real estate license is the first step towards success. So let's dive into the prerequisites of becoming a licensed real estate agent in Texas. So um, to become an agent in Texas, you must meet a couple requirements. First, you need to be at least 18 years old and a U.S. citizen or a lawfully admitted alien. And once you check that off, you must meet the TREC or Texas Real Estate Commission's educational requirements. TREC mandates that all applicants um, are to complete 180 hours of pre-licensing education from an approved provider. This coursework provides um, and covers essential topics like real estate principles, laws, finances, and different practices. You can choose between traditional classroom courses or take advantage of online options. Personally, when I was looking for a course, I wanted the flexibility of online courses out there as I wanted to study at my own pace and wanted studying to be convenient for my busy schedule, aka my normal nine to five job and different social gatherings that I wanted to attend. I used Aceable's Texas Real Estate Agent course, and I'll create another video on my experience with Aceable's coursework later, including what packages I recommend and how I utilized uh, the course. So please stay tuned. But if you are using a different course or used a different course, I'd love to hear in the comments down below on what your experience has been like and how it has helped you prepare for the exam. Anyways, once you have completed all of your coursework, it's time to prepare for the licensing licensing exam. The exam consists of two portions, the national portion and the state-specific portion. Be sure to study diligently and take advantage of the practice exams to really boost your confidence during your exam. I personally didn't think it was too hard, um, but if you don't take your coursework seriously, I really do believe it will be hard for you to pass on the first try as it is a lot of information that you have to withhold. I recommend uh, using study guides, um, utilizing different exam prep courses that your coursework might provide for you, and practicing with sample questions that you can find easily online. Um, Google is truly your best friend, not only for this, but the entire process itself. Um, I really think that all of these different resources um, that you will utilize are the key to help you feel more confident and increase your chances of passing your exam on the first exam first attempt. So I will also create another video on the, on how I study for my exam. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, so anyways, now congratulations, you passed the exam. Now what? To obtain your real estate license, you need to submit your application to the Texas Real Estate Commission. And what does that mean? It means that you need to make sure to include all required documents, including your sixth course certification and receipt that you paid for your license fee. Once TREC reviews over your application, they will send you an approval letter that shares that you can schedule your state and national exam. In addition to the exam, they require that they have your fingerprints on file with the Texas Department of Public Safety and pass your background check uh, before your application expiration date. I personally registered for the fingerprints at the same time I registered for my exam, just so that, you know, I can get that out of the way and not think about it later. Once your application is approved, you can be a licensed real estate agent in Texas. But now you think that's it. But remember, in order for you to actually buy, sell, and lease houses, you need to activate your license. And you can only do so by being sponsored by a broker. 
I will also create another video on that um, of the broker selection process later. But once you select a broker you work with, you will receive another email from Trek that states that the sales agent, you, accepted the sponsorship of a broker. And there you have it. This was a simple short guide of the general flow of how my process went in terms of how I got my real estate license in Texas. But please do remember, everyone's situation might be different. Um, so what I share um, is not really the end-all be-all of all real estate studying process. I really think that this journey is not just about earning a license and the career aspect of it, although it is a huge part. It's about unlocking a world of opportunities, not only in the real estate market, but also it's a good challenge for those who are looking to study something that would benefit them in the long run. So whether you are helping uh, families find their dream homes or guiding investors or even yourself to lucrative opportunities, your real estate career in Texas starts here. Thank you for joining me today. And if you have any questions or want more information, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, as mentioned before, I'm not an expert in any means and I'm constantly learning as well. I wanted to record this as a part of my journey to help others who also might be in the same boat as me. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for any upcoming videos. Um, best of luck to you in your journey of becoming a licensed real estate agent in the state of Texas. See you next time.